Hello and welcome to Heartbleed tutorial. In this video, we will try to explain Heartbleed without any technical terms. So Heartbleed allows an attacker to anonymously download a random chunk of memory of the server. This means they can get encrypted password and low level encryption key that protect your account. So this is the recent vulnerability found in OpenSSL. The CV number is CV20140160. So before that, let's explain what exactly Heartbleed is and why we need it. So before the Heartbeat, whenever SSL TLS transaction is happening between client and server, it will try to form a handshake process. So it will try to establish a TLS connection. So this connection is formed with several steps. Client hello, server hello, exchange keys, negotiation keys, then the finally encrypting the data. So this connection will get lost a lot of time and between client and server, n number of TLS connection will happen. That will increase the load to the server. The connection might get lost with the several reason browser is closed, packet is dropped. So finally we end up with creating multiple TLS connection between the same client and server. So why hard bit? So in 2012 a proposal was implemented in OpenSSL called Hardbit to send keep a live message between the client and server to reduce the number of negotiation. So this hard bit will follow after the handshake. So in hard bit client will send the hard bit message and that will consist of a payload chosen by the client. And it will also contain a brief header containing the size of the payload. So client will send the size and the payload message and it will create a packet and it will send a heartbeat message to the server. The server will save this content, the payload and memory. So server, what server is trying to do is to save the, uh, the content and the size in the memory and sending a keep alive response to the client. So let's see what is the flaw here. So what is the flaw and why it is called hard plate? Assuming we have a secure socket layer and we have a heartbeat message. Okay. The length of the message is 20 byte and uh, the payload is 24 byte. Okay. So the maximum number allowed is 64k means can six five five three five. Sorry. So what attacker is trying to do is attacker has sent the size of 65535 but the payload is only 20, 20 bytes. So this 20 bytes is saved in the memory and when server is trying to send the response to the client the response will contain 20 bytes and the continue till 64 KB of memory. So this much chunk of data is returned back to the client. So this chunk of data can be of anything. It can be a password information or private key information, anything. This is, this is the hack. Uh, 